We are now in 2024 and the high cost of living still top of mind for most people in this country. Mortgages, inflation and immigration are among the top concerns for Canadians in the new year. That's according to new polling from Nanos Research. Joining us now for more on this is the man himself, Nick Nanos, the founder and chief data scientist at Nanos Research. Happy New Year, Nick. Good to see you. Happy New Year to you too, Lois. Yeah, we are, you know, talking about being happy, but, uh, uh, really? you know, we're looking more at the concerns. What's not making Canadians happy for 2024? What are some of the big concerns that Canadians have? Well, it's kind of like wallet pocketbook issues, you know, at the very top of the list. You know, when we asked Canadians on behalf of CTV News what they wanted elected officials to focus on, at the very top of the list was cost of living. It's like groceries, gas, all that kind of stuff. Uh, healthcare was also uh, near the top, as was uh, as was housing. So, you know, think of it this way. You know, for average Canadians, they're thinking about, you know, how much is it going to cost to put gas in the car or pay for electricity, pay for the groceries or, or pay for, you know, the rent or your mortgage. And uh, And I think for a lot of Canadians, it's just looking at, you know, what they're going to do, what the budget's going to look like in 2024, and want to see action from our elected officials. Yeah, and when it comes to that, uh, it was interesting to note that you know housing, uh, the cost of living, that these are trumping health care and the environment yeah. now for Canadians. Talk to us about that shift. Well, you know, the thing is, what's interesting, Lois, is there's some really interesting generational changes here. Like, Cost of living is much more likely to be important among younger Canadians who are under 35 years of age. But healthcare, more important if you're over 55 years of age. It's kind of like if you're over 55, you're not as worried about the cost of living or housing and stuff like that. So there's some really interesting, uh, interesting dynamics in the in the numbers from a generational point of view. Yeah, I guess it comes down to what you immediately need. You need a place to live or you need to get that doctor's checkup, that that examination, that test done as well or whatever procedure it is uh, from a healthcare standpoint. Uh, when it comes to though, uh, going back to mortgages and talking yeah. about that gap, uh, talking about younger Canadians, why their concern is for um, housing costs as opposed to those who are older than them. Uh, talk to us a little bit more about what you found out. Yeah, in the CTV News survey that we did, uh, you know, we asked Canadians about the mortgage renewal concern, whether they're concerned or not concerned about renewing their mortgage. And you can see that, uh, you know, 52% of Canadians are concerned to one extent or another about uh, about renewing their mortgage and whether they'll be able to afford to pay for the mortgage that's renewed. You know, that number pops up, that 52% that we can see who are concerned or somewhat concerned, pops up to 62% if you're under 35 years of age and drops to 36% if you're over 55. So it's kind of like, you know, the kids are worried about, you know, a mortgage renewal. The parents, you know what, maybe they're on the tail end of their mortgage, have a small mortgage. They're not as likely to be uh, concerned or somewhat concerned about renewing the, on the mortgage. But, you know, you can see one out of every two Canadians who are homeowners and have a mortgage worried about this. That's a massive number. And, you know, think of the effect on the economy. If, if, if Canadians who are worried about a mortgage renewal delay purchasing something that they can afford or cut back on spending, that could have a materially negative knock-on effect on consumer spending in 2024, and uh, that wouldn't be good for the economy. Right, and speaking of spending, one of the concerns, one of the factors uh, that really is at play is inflation as well. And how is that factoring into what Canadians are concerned about? Inflation is coming up uh, actually on our unprompted uh, national issue of concern and uh, still near the very top. So it's kind of like, I don't know, Lois, I don't know where the good news is. I'm sorry if I was supposed to share some good news. I know you said Happy New Year at the big top of the top of the segment. What but, gives, uh, Nick? <laughs> it's like everything's everything's more expensive. And, uh, and, you know, and people don't see kind of stability and they're worried about, you know, everything increasing in costs, uh, you know, right across the board. It probably speaks to why the Liberals carved out that. You remember they had the, the carbon tax carve out for Atlantic Canada? probably explains why they did that because you know people are you know have to heat their homes in Atlantic Canada and we're thinking boy this carbon tax isn't a great time to do this at the winter time okay I do want to switch gears to another issue an increasing proportion of Canadians want the country to accept fewer immigrants in 2024 yep. compared to 2023 uh, talk to us a little bit about that change well you know the thing is is that the the Liberal government has been bringing in more uh, more immigrants into the country because uh, you know they've 
We've talked about the the need for immigration, but you know, check out the numbers. You can see six out of every ten Canadians say that uh, we should be accepting fewer immigrants than at the current levels. Put that into context. That is up 21 points since like 2020, the baseline year. Five uh, percent think we should be accepting more. That's one out of every 20. That's not a very big number. Uh, that's gone down, and I think a lot of this has to do with Canadians. This isn't about being anti-immigration, because the reality is, is many or most Canadians at one point or another in their family histories came from another place. Uh, I think this has to do with the intersection of our immigration policy and worrying about housing costs and inflation and stuff like that, where Canadians, they're not experts in immigration policy or the economy, but that's all they know is that if you have a target to bring in four to 500,000 new people every year into the country, which is Hamilton, right? It's like bringing in a city the equivalent of Hamilton, mm -hmm. adding it to Canada every year, people who are not experts are going, to, okay, like, where are we going to live? Where are these people going to live? How are they going to afford to live? And then they realize, you know, there's pressure on the renting market, pressure on the on the housing market writ large to buy a home. And, uh, and that, you know, this immigration policy is probably connected to the pressures in our housing market. Okay, Nick Nanos, we have to leave it there. Founder and chief data scientist at Nanos Research, as always, a pleasure. Thanks so much. Take it easy, Lois. Bye-bye.